Good morning. Welcome to worship. Let's open with a prayer. Father God, we ask that you be in our worship. We ask that you be in our lives. We ask that you stay with our friends and families and keep them safe. And we ask that you be with us always so that we can point others to you, wherever we are, whatever we're doing. In the name of Jesus, we ask this. Amen. Our first song this morning is Here I Am, Wholly Available. for Sparky, he failed every subject in the 8th grade. He flunked physics in high school. In fact, he still holds the school record for being the worst physics student in the school's history. He also flunked Latin, Algebra and English. He didn't do much better in sports. He made the school's golf team, but his poor play ended up costing the team the championship. Throughout his youth, Sparky was a loser socially. Not that he was actively disliked by other kids, it's just that nobody paid him much attention. He was astonished if a classmate even said hello outside of school. He never dated or even asked a girl out. He was afraid of being turned down. 
Sparky didn't let being a loser bother him that much. He just decided to make it through life the best he could and not worry about what other people thought of him. Sparky did, however, have a hobby. He loved cartoons. He liked drawing his own cartoons. No one else thought they were any good. When he was a senior in high school, he submitted some cartoons to the school yearbook and they were rejected. Sparky kept drawing anyway. Sparky dreamed about being an artist for Walt Disney. After graduating from high school, he wrote a letter to Walt Disney Studios inquiring about job opportunities. He received, he received a standard pre-printed letter requesting samples of his artwork. The form letter asked for him to draw a funny cartoon of a man repairing a clock by shoveling the springs and gears back inside. Sparky drew the cartoon and mailed it off with some of his other work to Disney Studios. He waited and waited for a reply. Finally the reply came, another standard pre-printed letter telling him that there was no job for him. Sparky was disappointed but not surprised. He had always been a loser and this was just one more loss. In a weird way he thought, his life was kind of funny. He tried telling his own life story in cartoons, a childhood full of misadventures of a little boy loser, a chronic underachiever. This cartoon character has now become known by the whole world. The boy who failed the eighth grade, the young artist whose work was rejected not only by Walt Disney Studios, but by his own high school yearbook, was Charles Munro Sparky Schultz creator of the Peanuts comic strip, and the little boy loser whose kite never flies, Charlie Brown. We've all experienced rejection and failure in life, but God has gifted each one of us with unique talents and abilities that enable us to make a significant contribution to the world. What are your gifts? You see, unless you attempt to use them, you will never discover how God prepared you to contribute. If a bird can see its wings, know what they're for, but never flaps them, they will never fly. We need to be like that little boy in the Bible who offered Jesus his lunch. Jesus in turn used it to feed the 5,000. Amen. Our closing song this morning is Make Me a Channel of Your Peace. Make me a channel
of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen.